Welcome to the 107 show, y'all. First time in December. Happy December, y'all. Hope y'all what up, y'all? Y'all time that y'all are having. Hopefully spending it with family, friends, and some people. But right now, we're hoping that you're going to spend your Sunday night with us, at least for the next 59, 60 minutes or so. Yes. Uh, but it's the 107 show with Tyra Tara Goose and myself. We are back in the driver's seat. And I like to start off every every show by saying, "What's up, y'all? How y'all been?" We just had the most major glitch in the Matrix. We're good, but can you hear us? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Figure something's going. On. Okay. I, yeah, that was the strangest good. thing. Like I don't even know what happened. But yeah, we're good. I'm good. Are you good? Mm -hmm. He's good. <laughs> How are you guys? I'm good. Hi, Sheena. Thanks hey, for coming. Hey, Sheena. On. I was like, Goose, when did you put that hat on? <laughs> I was like, it. <laughs> magic. Uh, yes, the magic of TV. Yeah, uh, exactly. We are going to do our best to be a little glitch free. Yes. <laughs> but we are glad that y'all spending your time with us. We have a very interesting show coming up for y'all today. Some some interesting topics, mm -hmm. some, some real conversation starters. Uh, and, and 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 some some real opinionated type things about to come up, and uh, I can't even get into it. But uh, right now, we are going to get into what some people's favorite part of the show is, and y'all know what that part of the show is. Here it is, right here. Yes, it is. The Would you rather portion of the show? Brought to you by none other than Therapeutic Billing. Tara, tell us a little something, something about Therapeutic Billing, if you will, please. Certainly. Therapeutic Billing is a medical billing credentialing recredentialing firm. It also offers virtual assistance services and bookkeeping services. The telephone number for Therapeutic Billing, 610-228-2029. And the web address is therapeuticbilling.com. There you go. There you go. Thank you, Therapeutic Billing, for sponsoring that segment this segment um what we got so we have two would you rathers for today i just want to thank you to my co-host tara for uh hooking me up today and so here we are with our first would you rather would you rather watch nothing oh not, <laughs> nothing but hallmark christmas movies or nothing but horror movies tara i know you picked this <laughs> of course i did so i'm gonna say nothing but hallmark christmas movies as much as it kills me because <laughs> right i'm right. saying but y'all know how i feel i don't fool with nothing scary so yeah horror movies all day them hallmark movies are butt i'm sorry <laughs> they, they, they all are. have the same plot the same they all have plot. the same plot they damn near all have the same ending once you've seen one you <laughs> see them all like you know i mean but there's people there's are, are single in the beginning but married at the end there it is <laughs> and it a little bit Right, you got away from the from the boyfriend that wasn't no good, and <laughs> move back to their hometown, yeah. to their high school sweetheart, and it's like perfectly snowing every day. Like, every day, yeah. they got jackets on with their necks out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Drink a coffee that's not smoking. Okay, that's so funny. But don't yeah. look, don't and tell my mother and Chanella because they both Christmas in July, Christmas in December. If I mean. All my I mean even though I hate them, I watch them. Like once I start watching one, I'm stuck. And nice. so I, I will watch them. And I do love the fact that they're at, adding some sprinkle of color, you know? I've you know, last time color. just had one with um, Keisha Knight Pulliam and, and Patti yeah. LaBelle. I wanted uh -huh. I did want to see that. Oh, but that's I'm still good. going I to say. I usually watch Army. anything Patti LaBelle is in. I don't know why I like Patti LaBelle's acting. I guess it's from a different world. And I just oh, always yeah. liked her from that point yeah. forward. Anytime she's in some I always Kim had, a, Kim had a uh, a question there. Said, what? what kind of scary? Spiritual scary or bloody scary? I don't care what kind of scary it is. <laughs> well, I will say this. My see, bloody bloody to me is not scary. Like I don't like gore. I like scary more like fear of the unknown or you don't see this coming kind of scary. Okay. And not so much gory like that. Mm. That so doesn't scare me. I'll take all that over a Hallmark movie. Now, see, I, <laughs> oh, 100%. Yeah. I pick horror movies um, with honorable mention Kung Fu. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Leave <laughs> it up to Goose. Goose 
is the king of the caveat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So would you, this is our second one. Would you rather spend a week in the forest or a night in a real haunted house? Y'all know I'm going to be a week in the forest. <laughs> I was trying to stump you. I'm like, no. <laughs> but Terry, you have you don't understand when I say I don't deal zero with anything scary. Well, I, know. I know. I go a week no, in the haunted house. No, it's okay. one night in a haunted house. Uh, one right. night in a haunted house or one week in the forest. Oh yeah, in the house. Yeah, give me a house. Give me the house. Come on, we'll be asleep. You might ne like not necessarily be asleep. I would not be sleeping either one, but I'm not yeah, going to be. Well, I'm walking that joint with my bottle. Just because it's one, it doesn't mean something's going to bother you. And I'm going to be drinking <laughs> and I'm going to be chilling until I go I'm to sleep. sleep. And I'm going to sleep. I'm going to be sleeping there. I probably yeah. have a drink or something. Well, probably, you probably go to sleep. If I were, here, I'm going to tell you exactly what, what I'll do. If I were to get scared while I was in there in bed sleep, I'm probably just going to pull the blanket over my head, hope for the best, and fall back asleep. Oh, now, my God. You know, to be honest, I would go to the haunted house, mm -hmm. and I'd be hanging out, doing what I do. But if I heard noises or thought that I heard something bumping the night, I would be investigating, trying to find the speaker's and the, the air blowing so things that the, that, the, that the house owners put he's in the trying to debunk whether the house yeah, is see, no. I don't want I don't want to do none of that. I'll be in the forest with my little tent. You are gonna be in the forest in twelve tent. hours. I'm gonna be back home. I'm I'm staying at the Horton Horton House. No, I'm but, gonna but be it's, up. But it's a week in the forest. Oh, it's a week. I'm doing that yeah. week. With lions and tigers, you be seen naked and afraid. You gonna be I'm naked good. and afraid. I'm not gonna be naked. <laughs> <laughs> I might not be naked, but you'll be afraid in the forest. Oh, I'm definitely gonna be afraid. Spiders gonna crawl on you. Give me the Thank night. You, a week in the forest with special. Oh, well, you know what? She she don't go with you to the forest. You want she to go? On yes, girl. It's gonna be me and you, boo. See, that's we gonna, gonna be, be in the house. Listen, dig this. I'm going to the haunted house because I'm a child of God. I ain't worrying about none of them spirits. Hey, amen. Y'all have fun. <laughs> I, don't be outside. I don't care what you say. All right, that was that. those were good. Thank right. you. All right, so if you guys still want to answer our um, would you rather, you can go ahead and put your answers in the chat. So now we're going on to our next portion is a what would you do? So we're just trying to change it up a little bit. And so we want to know what would you do? What would you do if you could control your dreams? Um, would it freak you out? Uh, would you would do everything in your dreams because um, you can't deal with real life <laughs> or prevent nightmares? What would you do if you could control your dreams? It says, would you do everything in your dreams you can't do in real life? Oh, okay. Thank you, babe. Yeah. If I, I could control I'm my dreams. With that. I'm with that. You can control your dreams, though. No, you can't. I've tried. Yeah, like I, some, I some people can. Oh, yeah. really? Let me tell you, let me tell you something. I, didn't know that. I, I was kind of looking forward to this one. So there's a movie I've been trying to get Tyra to watch, but she just it starts real boring. So she just kind of I need my movies to start off murderers. Uh the movie, um I, I just forgot what the journal, but it's uh Leonardo DiCaprio, um, and it's about dreams. Okay. It, I know it, what you're talking about. Inception. Inception. Oh, and, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Even like when the buildings are falling down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't get jiggy with that. I was why I was so into that movie, and <laughs> for at least two months after I saw that movie, I could control every single thing. My dreams were so vivid, so clear. Really? I could control every single thing in my dream. Well, I don't know if I want to see it now. Listen, but that was your dream. That yeah, that was your dream controlling. You are controlling. You but everything you do my in the dream, I was just subconscious. Like, like yo, let me hook him up for a little bit. Boom. Okay. What? Okay. Like, I don't care. However, it works. It. However it works. Yeah, I do. It work, right? Oh, oh uh, so Kim says I do everything that I could not, that I can't do in real life. I think Thank I'm you. with you. Hundred percent, definitely. Gina says, "Send me a number to the person who can control their dreams." <laughs> right. Well, Watch Inception. I guess it'll you. help you. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know why I couldn't get with it. I mean, maybe I'll try while I'm on. Uh, while I'm on vacay. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'll try you mm -hmm. I mean, you're going to have time on your hands. You can try all kinds of stuff that you never watched before. I know. I'm, I'm not really into promoting stuff that doesn't, you know, pitch in for the promotion. <laughs> but that movie is one of my favorite movies. 
Okay, I watched it because it's your favorite. I, I yeah, think I've, it's, only, I've only seen it yeah, one yeah, time. Sure. But I enjoyed it. It was good. Yeah. It's a, it's a little bit of a slow burn in the beginning, but if you pay attention to what's, what they're talking about, mm -hmm. it all almost See, makes sense. <laughs> like for me, I used to dream when I was younger. And like the older I got, I don't really dream that much anymore. No, before and I I you just dream don't remember, every night. You just don't remember your dream. Yeah, I just maybe I just don't remember. That's but if I wake up mean. and like immediately think, like if it was like a serious dream, I will remember it. But I mean, it was deep. But not for long. It didn't hit you after a while. Now, if I remember my dream, that dream was deep and it had some kind of meaning or something. Mm -hmm. That's the mm -hmm. only way I can remember. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. Well, so I like. Most days I don't remember my dreams, but I remember big ones. Like, yeah, I got shot and killed in the dream twice, two separate dreams. Here's the question: Was this a dream? Right? Yeah. I've never been I, shot. I tell you, I tell you something kind of crazy. What? And I've told I've, I've told this story for a very long time, and because it, it's real, I was in elementary school. I actually wrote a paper about it in elementary school, if you can call it a paper, but <laughs> um. I had a dream in like the fifth grade that I was at my funeral, but my funeral was in my living room at my house and the TV was on in the funeral <laughs> and the pictures game was on and Derek Coleman, Jerry Stackhouse and Allen Iverson were playing for the Sixers. Yeah, that was a dream. Wait, when you was five? You said when you was when in the fifth was grade? Was like in the fifth or sixth grade, something like that. Now, what year was that though? That was a while ago. I didn't even know that who, was I, in the 80s, I knew who right? Derek Coleman was. I don't think I knew who Jerry Stackhouse was. Okay. And I don't I, didn't and know. I didn't know who Allen Iverson was. But I, but they that were in so the dream. Weird. They were right there in the dream. They were on the team mm -hmm. in the dream. And I, I don't know what my funeral had to do with it because I'm still here. So <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. But wow. yeah, that was that's that's always stood out to me. But you've well, always had dreams that have come to fruition, though. That's yeah, not unusual for you. I do. I'm glad that wasn't. Let us know when you dream about the yeah, lottery. Yeah, I was going to say, what's the damn lottery then? <laughs> I'm going to watch Inception. Control your dreams that away. Right. I'm going <laughs> to watch Inception <laughs> and get those doggone numbers. I'm going to tell you right now. That's what I'm going to do. Control your dreams that away. Yep. All right. That's cool. Thank you, Tyra. You yep. are so welcome. Oh, uh, let me see. Oh. She said it's like that Jason Momoa movie Slumberland. I'm not sure. She put oh, that. Oh, it's a new ago. movie on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, with the kids, right, right, yes. right, right. Yeah. And I've been meaning to watch that too because it looked, you know, it's look good. good. Yeah. It's okay. So now I got. I have some things to watch while I'm on my vacation. Yep. Yeah, you do. All right. Moving right. along. Where <laughs> where are we? Are we uh? We oh, had our dear ten seven. This dear ten seven portion of the show. So let's. For, for people that may not be with us all the time, let's let's kind of talk about what this is. The Dear 107 portion of the show is the portion of the show where we read your letters that you send in, your messages, text messages, DMs, whatever they are. And we give you our our advice and our <laughs> opinions on them. Almost said professional. Unprofessional. Not professional. Yeah. unprofessional <laughs> Extremely unprofessional in my case. And, uh, you know, we just put it out there for you. You, uh, you know, take it or leave it, however it is. <laughs> we're gonna give you what you got. What we right. got. Right. Just so you want to take the first one? Sure, I'll take the first one. Here we go. Dear 107, my sister is newly engaged to a man whom she has been in a relationship with for several years now. They seem very happy for the most part. For my sister's birthday, we we all went out to dinner and had an activity packed day with a brunch. Oh, excuse me, with a bunch of their friends. I couldn't help but notice that one of her fiance's female friends was being maybe a little too friendly with him. It was it was subtle, but I'm observant and picked up on it the right picked up on it right away. My sister didn't seem to notice. I'm protective of my sister and I'm quick to call out anyone or anything that I think could potentially hurt her. I think she could I think she should keep an eye on that woman. Should I say something? I think mm. it's your imagination. I don't think you should. You might be making something out of nothing. Absolutely. Right. It's subtle. You know what? You sound like the sister that needs to get their feelings hurt by somebody. <laughs> well, here's the thing. We don't know if it was a woman or a man that wrote this. Okay, or the brother. Yeah. Because this, yeah. 
you was like it was subtle so this is the other thing you ain't mentioned it you ain't mentioned in your letter that you mentioned this did you see that so, you see mm-hmm. we know how we know how it is at these events mm-hmm. or after these events did you see mm-hmm. something no, and you yeah. ain't mentioned none of that. Oh yeah, there's so, plenty so, of gossip. So all of this, been. so all of this, I think it live in your head. Yeah, I think you should leave it alone. What, yeah, Tyler, yeah. What, what were you gonna say? Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. Like I think you maybe you, why don't you yeah. keep an eye on it if it's bothering like, if it's you? Subtle, which means right, it's that subtle. You know what I mean? Just keep it in the back of your mind and just pay attention from now on. And I'm wondering if it's because she's his friend but when you get with somebody you merge friends like that's kind of how that goes like this is stolen all my friends i kind of i kind of wonder based on on what you just said tara Mm -hmm. kind of makes me think did he did this person know that was was it what was she an ex she wasn't an ex was she no it just said a bunch of their friends and then one of his female friends i want i want to know she was invited to hang out so did she know that did this person know that she was one of his friends before or after she they noticed the the, the flirtiness the flirting low key so oh, you're saying did, did the sister know yeah but this probably huh? who right. the person probably. that wrote the letter know like because sometimes you might not see something and then you know something about somebody and then you start to notice some some things about that's the true. person that's true yeah, so. that's true that can happen <laughs> so Kim <laughs> says <laughs> uh, yeah, well, because first, first um, first she says, she said, yeah, no, I say something. Okay, and then and then her follow up is is what she says, Tara. You know why I say that? See something, oh. say something. Some women are jealous and want and want what they have, want, want what you have. That's true. You're not there all the time. Giving her a heads up is just a good idea for her sister. That could be true. I mean, yeah. sometimes, like sometimes, as women, we can kind of. But See, you don't have no you. There was no facts in that letter. No, there was no facts. All you got in that letter is feelings. All right, so Tyra, what were you gonna say? Sometimes as women, what? <laughs> I was just saying, like sometimes as women, we can kind of see, like, mm, you know, we got that radar, that intuition, and so you know, maybe nothing never really is going on. But I mean, if she, you know, sometimes you can see those things ahead of time, and you know, sometimes when you in love and you about to get married, and you got your rose colored glasses on. You know yeah. what I mean? You tend to not see certain things. So, I mean, maybe they're, you know, I don't know. But, I mean, I would say you just keep an eye on it. Like, because I'm sure it's going to be a lot of things coming up, you know, according, you know, because the wedding's coming. So, you're probably going to see more interaction. So, yeah. you know, keep an eye on it. See if it see if it get a little bit more weird. And Right. I mean, I, would let, I think it's okay for her to keep an eye on it, but I don't think she should say anything. Mm-hmm. Because this is my thing. What she gonna say, mm-hmm. sis? Did you see how such and such was interacting with such and such? No. What they do? It wasn't nothing really, but it just didn't seem right to me. Yeah, I just didn't feel. You right. know what I'm saying? You come to me with that nonsense. What are your facts? You gotta come to me with facts. Yeah. That that that's just how I roll. Yeah, because I mean, I kind of I, I agree with him also because then it's like you're almost putting something in her head that wasn't in her head that's not even and now a real you, thing. now you may call, may cause her to magnify things that's nothing. Yeah. Right. That's and, why I told her to keep an eye on it. Yeah. But so, you, so the sister, <laughs> sister should keep. You yeah. Keep I, I agree. With you. Sister should keep an eye out if she can. If she right, if she can. I mean, just it's going to be more events because they're getting ready to get married. So you're going to see mm-hmm. them interacting again. So if mm-hmm. you feel that strongly, then you keep an eye on it and pay attention mm-hmm. and see and see what mm-hmm. happens. Mm-hmm. Yep. Justin, were you going to say something or no? I well, I, I just you know I like to look in, in at the letters sometimes and dissect certain things. Mm-hmm. Um, in the first paragraph, last last sentence in the first paragraph, this person says they seem very happy for the most part. They're they've been together for several years. They're wait, engaged. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I think you're on the wrong letter. No. No, first the first no. paragraph. Uh, first last sentence. Sentence. First sentence. Last sentence. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, they're 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 engaged. They've been together for several years. Somebody that is com- like completely excited about somebody's relationship would not have said would that. not have said they right. seem exactly. happy most part. Right. Mm-hmm. Because, mm-hmm. You know what I hear when she say that? 
they seem happy for the most part it's it, it like i guess they happy i can't find nothing bad to say about it. that that's what it seems like you think what i'm saying say that. They're happy you, you because i don't have any proof that they're unhappy right mm -hmm. or some things have happened in the past out of during their courtship and the sister probably still mad about what he did but she done forgave him and now they're getting married Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, that could have been the incident too, because a lot of times, you know, you go through things before you get married, and people are like, mm. you know, maybe they went through something prior to the engagement. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I also think there's a, a a woman that wrote this letter, not a man. Oh, absolutely. And I'm gonna tell you why. Um, he says I'm, or she says I'm protective of my sister, quick to call out anything with blah blah blah. Uh, should I keep an eye on that woman? Okay. Yep. Keep an eye on him. Yeah, you're right, Justin. That's why I'm thinking that they have some happiness in their relationship. They've moved past it, and she hasn't. Yeah. You know what? You know most people. You know when you go through some, and you don't forget. You know y'all forgive and move on. Other people still remember that. You know that bad stuff. Yeah, it's true. So that's what that's what I think it could be stemming from. Mm -hmm. I agree. All right, you ready to move on? Share, share this with your people right now so they can get on and, and see this next story real quick because it gets better. Oh, yeah, <laughs> things get real better. Well, Goose we walked away to stoke the fire. So, you want me to take the next one, Justin, or do you want to take it? I can take it. All right, okay, go ahead. I've gotten over my, my fear of reading out loud in class. So, <laughs> well, I'm glad. <laughs> Dear 10 7. First time writer, but long time follower of the 10 7 show. Thank you very much. All right. I want to start, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to start by saying I enjoy your show and I like the commentary you all have. Now, on to my dilemma. Not long ago, I agreed to go on a date with a man, with a man who, excuse me, not long ago, I agreed to go on a date with a man with whom I share a lot of friends. He was a nice guy, but ultimately I decided that we were not a good match. I thanked him for a nice evening and we did not speak again. The other day I found out that that same man has been telling all of our mutual friends that I was a terrible date. He told everyone that I was rude and obnoxious and that he turned me down. <laughs> He's lying. What should I do? Oh, um, that is true, I guess. You know what you should do? I'm, I'm gonna say it from my you know what you should do? What that's what he said. All right, well, I well, yep. I guess that's how he saw it. Exactly. I mean, because yeah, what else are you gonna say? I mean, it's her word, and if you're but friends, you know, mutual friends know he's lying on her character. These, but these are people that they both know, so they already know the type of person that she is, mm -hmm. and then the type of person that hey, he let, me, let me keep it real. Maybe she was rude. Maybe you were rude. Maybe you, you were a terrible mouth open? It's very possible. Now, you know. Oh, yeah. Please don't chew. Your mouth. Master, she might chew her mouth open or she smacked. Oh, my God. Don't get me um, That's please, terrible. Please. I'm going to stop right now. Don't get me started. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, that may have been his experience. And all you right. can say is, if your friends say, like, I'm sorry that's what he thought his experience was. That wasn't the experience that I had. But it just didn't work. And you move on. And it's that simple. Exactly. Hmm. Exactly. You're not gonna be telling people I'm like now you now you lying on my character. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or oh, like the people that they know you, you and hit on his best friend. Oh god. Let's see how well you hit it off with him. No, it's just the people are going off. It's, people <laughs> mm -hmm. it's cold too. You're gonna drink it. Oh yes. <laughs> He likes cold water. So, well, um, good luck with your obnoxious date. I know that's horrible. Mm. See, that's what you need to be recording, folks. He lied. Mm -hmm. But like, mm -hmm. like we all said, if their mutual friends know them well enough, they know. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And they probably know he's lying on his uh right. his dates. Whatever, dude. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You want to read the next one? Or you want me to take it? It's not wrong. Okay. Dear ten seven. I have been married for close to a year. And in this short time, I've seen a side of my wife I've never seen before. Although I met her during a period of sobriety, she drinks now. The problem is what she does when she drinks. 
on one occasion she was supposed to go to the market and return on foot instead i found her in the car with a stranger drinking and high she claimed it was too cold to walk and she was trying to keep warm on another occasion she got drunk and had a male friend with whom she'd been intimate with in the past pick her up and all of her belongings and left me watching her drive away with him <laughs> she later called apologizing profusely from a different man's apartment and begging me to pick her up this sounds like an episode of intervention right this is just getting worse as you read <laughs> i could go on and on with similar scenarios I'm glad you didn't but my letter would be too long her latest is when she told me she put a code on her phone so i couldn't find out where she had been oh she had really just turned off the location sharing on her phone she said she loves me with all of her heart and there's no one else but i find it very hard to believe am i the world's biggest dumbest doormat for not divorcing her I can't just turn off my love for her. You need to find that switch, homie. Oh, God. Turn off your love for yourself. That's bad. Mm -hmm. That really sounds like an episode of Intervention, doesn't yeah. it? Like She love the alcohol more than you. She love that glass. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said he need to turn on his love for himself. Because... Oh, yeah. So um, try an Intervention. I mean, I mean, I mean, are you in it by yourself? Does she have family, friends? Like, Wait, yeah. she got picked up by another dude, called from another dude's apartment. What are you into? What are That's you doing? Much. It sounds like she tooting. It's like That's too much. We have we we missed quite a few comments. On oh, the last oh, one. yeah. I'm, let's not, go I'm back. not even not gonna go back to it, but I just want to let y'all know I do see y'all comments. So yeah, so, and <laughs> I agree with you. Yeah. Um, yeah, like you know what? This is a lot. There's get, too much going on. Get out of get out of it. Get out of this now. Yes. Get out of it because the longer it's already it's, bad. The harder it is, it, the harder it's going to be to get out yep yeah you know what i mean and, and, and circumstances are going to change you yeah know, you're, you will not be happy for a very long time i mean or a do a legal separation close you know, to so a year see if you get him to know me yeah and and, and if she were you <laughs> know you it up. that's the thing we that's all what I'm saying. maybe a legal separation will uh cause her to go to into treatment hmm I mean, he loved her that much that he willing to send her off with another dude. Drunk? What, did, what did Goose say earlier? Several dudes. She loved the alcohol more than she loved him. She does. She has an addiction, bruh. Yeah, and yep. it's like, you can't love her out of that. No. So and this is the other thing. So are you an enabler? Mm. And right. that's maybe he is. Good question. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I mean, because I didn't mention neither of you guys working so I, I don't know what the dynamic is of the relationship mm -hmm. but is are you purchasing the alcohol you do know what i'm saying so like like what's going on the men's is purchasing the alcohol the men she with and you yeah. make her walk to the market and back right <laughs> and then you found her well why, is, work, why did you take her to the market if you could find her in a car with somebody else take her to the damn market i don't know right. i'm going to assume they don't have a vehicle but i'm going to also assume if you go into the market you might have some money to i pay don't know for it's, it's so ride. it's so much but more I mean, to use their grocery but, money for, for other things it was just phrase funny to me because she said it was. Said she went to the market it was supposed to return on foot like, foot. like she drifted there <laughs> You think maybe right. Right. Or or she was like dropped somebody off. dropped her off and then she was gonna walk back. <laughs> maybe they live across the street. She went got some some liquor from the market and then she too drunk to go to walk back home. But we yeah. got a comment from Barnes Boy. Barnes Boy okay. saying it was cheaper to keep him, but uh he has to get out fast. Yeah, fast. I mean, it's only been a year, they might be able to get it annulled, especially if you can prove that she's doing nefarious activities. Exactly. Yeah, Sheena says send her to treatment, leave. Mm -hmm. and get some therapy yeah. absolutely yeah. as to yeah. yeah like you you love her like you love her be despite the issues and that that you got probably want to understand that love is going to be there right but you gotta you got it like tyra said you gotta love yourself you gotta love yourself more yes right? yeah. you gotta love yourself more and this is the other thing like so when you have to fight and dig down inside of someone to find 
what you fell in love with mm -hmm. that's a problem you know then it's time to reassess your your situation absolutely that's yeah. the love to the world. At least yeah. you don't have no kids. Well, there are no kids. Yeah. Good luck. That's, that's rough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, thank you. Thank you all for the comments. Keep them coming. We appreciate it. And, uh, you know, it's going to get even better. So definitely share this with some of your people. Yeah. Bring them in on this story. On, yes. on some of this, this next that we're going to be talking about. So next up, we, uh, you know, from our... The success of the 107 group on Facebook has really, we initially started it off to um, get like show topics and things like that. And the group has actually took on a life of its own. So shout out to you all that's in our 107 group, um, building us up, supporting us. If you're on here, go on to YouTube, like the new Twist Radio page and watch our stuff. But mm -hmm. I found this comment and we use, y'all know, I put up, we put up relationship comments, relationship scenarios, and we always ask our, um, the people in our group what they think and then we discuss it. So we got a video here that we are going to discuss. Um, it's a nice short clip about toxic masculinity. Toxic Take it away. Right, here we go, y'all. Really? Work. <laughs> hold on. Let me let me hold on. I got we're gonna make it work, y'all. Don't worry. Let me get it together. Might have been up there too long by by itself. <laughs> I'm refresh it. Oh, you like okay. the thing? That <laughs> men do to women, they would never do to their best friends that are males. A man won't go to a different barber because he think it would hurt his barber's feelings if he sat in, in another man's, man's chair. chair. But that, but that same, same man don't have, don't have no, no problem sticking his, his in another, another woman's, woman's box. box. Because, because he, he don't really care, care about hurting, hurting your, your feelings. feelings. There are, there are certain, certain men that don't, that don't connect, connect emotionally with, with women, women the same way they connect, they connect with men. men. He don't view you as his friend for real. You're, you're a woman, woman he has sex, sex with. with. You're, you're a, a woman, woman that folds his clothes and washes, and washes the dishes. dishes. You're, you're a woman, woman that's the mother, mother of his child. child. You, are you are not his friend, friend though. though. When he, when he views you as a friend, friend he, treats he treats you like, like a partner. partner. He, he treats, treats you like, like an equal. He values you. And that, and that friendship is what, what keeps, keeps him disciplined. disciplined. Doing, Doing the things necessary to maintain, to maintain that, that relationship. relationship. If, if that, that friendship is not there, there that relationship will, will not work. work. Unless, unless you, you keep building and get less than what you deserve. Certain that men do to women, they would never do to their best friends that are males. A man won't go to a different barber because he would hurt his barber. We was trying to let it play from us. I was just, uh, you know, let, letting the part that got missed get, get seen, get some, yeah. some look. Um, so I know what I think about what he said. What y'all think about what he said? So when I originally watched that, I thought he was saying that it would never work if, like, they weren't initially friends but goose cleared it up for me yeah because i think he's just talking about the whole loyalty yeah aspect. like he he cleared it up to me for me like where she falls in line of hierarchy it's not close right. to the top okay so yeah. it's right right so that's how i saw it it's like he and not not so much the way goose saw it but how he sees you if he doesn't see you like how he see his friends, like if he don't see you on that level i guess so that hierarchy. Right, yeah because your friends are more important on that level then that's why it's okay for him to do the things he do. But then we can take it back. It's not just a toxic masculinity thing. Because as I was watching this, I was thinking about the letter that the ten seven letter we just heard. Even she's an alcoholic, <clears throat> and she don't you know she's treating she don't see him on that level, which is why she's able to go and drink and get in the car and go with other men because she don't see him like that. Mm. Meanwhile, he's continuing to be more loyal to her. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you yeah. know, just himself or whatever he said at the end of that, this applies directly to that thing. So it just it's good that it shows how it can go both ways. It does go both ways, 100%. Absolutely. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Uh -oh. yep. Uh oh, Barnes yeah. boy is hot. No, <laughs> so I don't think they're saying that masculinity is toxic. No, exactly. They are saying that men can be toxic. Mm -hmm. Right. And with manhood trait. comes masculinity. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. I think they're talking about the toxic traits of masculinity. Right. Because mm -hmm. you can also have toxic femininity. It's some oh, very toxic women, uh, hence 
who we just saw in the letter before us. So that's I don't think they saying that masculinity well, yeah. itself. But I'll be the first to admit it. I'm toxic. I yes, kill, you are. I kill him with kindness. <laughs> I'm just looking at Terry. Yes, we got <laughs> it. But I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm fucked. We got it. We got it. Yeah. <laughs> so what you just think about it? Just to see what you think. So as, as I, what he said, <clears throat> I kind of have said on this show before. Okay. I've said it in conversation. I've said it on the show before. Um, and I'll use Tyra and my relationship a, as an example. Um, I have a loyalty to Tyra. I have a, 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 a respect for Tyra on a different level from other relationships because we were friends for such a long time. And I don't think that I would hope that I don't have a friend out there that can say Justin has done, did me dirty. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? And and I see Tyra on that same level as y'all was saying. I see her on that same. I don't. I I treat her as I would treat my friends. Um, you know, I, I I I try to do things that I try to make sure I don't do things that would disrespect her because she is my friend. Mm -hmm. And that's how I, that's how I treat my friends. Now, if it was some chick that I just met, if she was just some chick that I just met, I hollered at because she was at the hoagie shop getting the cheesesteak, and I, you know, and she liked I liked her order. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, she I'm not. Butt. She, 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 might have, she might have a little butt. She might have a little butt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to treat her the same as I would treat my friends. I'm right. going to treat her as if she was the chick that I met with the cheesesteak. Until she became a friend, right? And in the but situation, you think think those women can become a friend, but if, but until you view them on the same level, I think that's what he was getting to. But that's see, so to me, I understand what you're saying, but so to me, what he was saying had an air of disrespect. Okay. So okay. just because you meet a chick at the sandwich shop, and y'all are becoming friends doesn't mean that there is disrespect between you guys you do know what oh, i'm no, saying no, right right so right. so so i so i think his joint is on the he flat out disrespecting y'all chicks that's what he's saying that's yeah the way he's, he's coming like off yeah you think what i'm saying so, uh, and i think and i think he's kind of doing that kind of for the the shock value of it right you know what i mean but but i agree with you that he's like he's disrespect he is coming off that way absolutely right yeah so so for you to say I met a chick at the hoagie shop, but I'm not I don't treat her the same way that I was that I treat my wife. We get that because you don't know her yet. You dig what I'm saying? And, and right. don't have to be any disrespect between the two of you guys. And you guys can grow that friendship, whether it be platonic or whether it not be. You dig what I'm saying? But I think he's just talking about the flat out disrespect aspect of relationships like that. Yeah, he kind of comes yeah. off. He comes off a, a little more livelier, but he comes off like uh, my man that got caught up Action earlier Jackson. this year. Oh, oh that guy, yeah. Was it Derek Jackson? Yeah. yeah. Derek Jackson. He was he's, kind of, he's, kind of, he's kind of shooting off that same type message. You know what? And, you know, it could he is shooting off that same kind of vibe. So I'm wondering yeah. if, like, he's so familiar with that thought pattern because, you know, he is that guy. Yeah. Um but I can see, you know, but like I said, I can understand where he's coming from. I think what he's trying to say is until a man sees you on that level, that's why it's so easy for him to just sleep around and do what he want to do. Mm -hmm. And that's maybe that's what he should have said until your relationship reaches this point. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I think he, like, I think he used it, you know, for clickbait. I oh, yeah, exactly. so what about people who have whirlwind romance? There are there are people who meet. I mean, I, like me day. personally, yes, I know, I know people. I know a couple in particular, and I use them as an example time and time again. When I have friends that have met people on dating sites, they met, went on a blind date, and were married three weeks later. Still are together. It's been twenty five plus years. They have a, a grown man child, and they are still <laughs> happily in love. I'm going to give you one statement that explains all that for me. Okay. They are built different. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it just worked for them. 
It, that, right. Exactly. They're they're built different. Well, right. no, I just think that situation <laughs> happened to work for them because it ha it happens, but it's rare. Right. It's like rare. they're not the only ones that it is. No, it's not. I mean, right. I just, we, we, we know other people. people. That's rare. We, we definitely know other people that have yeah. you know. But yeah. <laughs> So Kim has a lot of. We won't she go back said, to her. She said, "Somebody find me that man." <laughs> um, put up. She put up a, a comment earlier that we were going to look at. Um, she said, "Correct, Goose sees you as his best friend, his wife, and the mother of his child. The friendship is there. A lot of marriages and relationships in general leave out the friendship part, but have all the other parts." Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I always, I I always the say friendship the friendship part, part is the important. most important. I, I always say the friendship part is important because that's what worked for us. Yeah, True. But see yeah. what? But see what? what the way I look at it is, in a marriage, for the most part, the friendship part is the biggest slice of the pie. I agree. Exactly. I agree. It is. It really is. It's the biggest That's slice it. of the pie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very. You know it might start off as a sliver. Mm -hmm. Right. But as the relationship grows, that piece gets larger and larger. Mm -hmm. It does. It does. Y'all got to be homies. You have to and, be homies. And I feel like maybe i'm crazy goose I'm, i can't even say goose you know let me know i feel like like if you were like to, everyone gets disrespected in some way somehow right but if you were to if i were to disrespect tyra in in a certain way i would think that it would probably like other things that you really shouldn't do become easier to do like i'm not saying that okay. you know, I, I would disrespect her on purpose, you know, but I'm just saying it becomes easier to do. And once right, it becomes right. easier to do, it becomes, it can end up becoming an, a habit. Yeah. And a, exactly. Yeah. But, and what's on the flip side of that? People treat you the way you allow them to. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. That's exactly. the flip side of what you just said, Justin. Mm -hmm. I allow you to treat me this way. And then it becomes a norm for you. Right. Yeah. And then here we are in this vicious cycle. Yeah. Like like the one that like the lady was drinking. She, exactly. He allows her to do what she's been doing. Yeah. She keeps doing it. There's no consequences by the way. She's not being held accountable for her behavior. No. And so, you know, and that's a, that's the thing they teach you in kindergarten. You are accountable for what you say and what you do. Mm -hmm. but, you know, we tend to forget that as we get older. I'm about to say, mm -hmm. you 50 years later, you're like, oh, now what did I know? Exactly. So she's not being held accountable for it. Yeah. It's like, you know what I mean? If you get, if the teacher allow you to cheat, you're going to cheat. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. You're held accountable <laughs> unless you're a Republican. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and white. Because mm -hmm. they hold the black people yeah. accountable, honey. Yeah. yeah. You got to have a complexion for the protection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but but it's of a caveat to that. Finances come in, the social economic status comes in and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, let's, let's move away from, from this for a bit. Yeah, um, we'll move away from this. So let's get to the part I'm really looking forward to talking about. Yes, go ahead, Tara. Okay, so this past week, it broke. Y'all watch Good Morning America 3. It's Good Morning America 3, right, Tara? Yes, yeah. well, they're on GMA and GMA 3, but go ahead. Oh, okay. So, so co-host having an affair, okay? Married GMA co-host Amy Warbach. Is it Warbach? Warbach. Warbach. Yes, CJ Robuck. Holmes, who looks like a thumb here, left <laughs> their partners after having a months-long affair, according to news outlets. Not us. Okay. okay. The two have been allegedly. Friends, allegedly. The two have been friends for years, even going on double dates with their respective spouses. So she is what? still married to actor Eliz um, Andrew Shu, who's Elizabeth Shu's brother. Adventures of Babysitting. Mm -hmm. And his wife is attorney Marley Feibig. So their rom romance allegedly began in March of this year when they were training and spending a lot of time together for the New yeah. York half marathon. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Insiders claim the married couples both parted ways with their significant others in August, allegedly. allegedly. Mm -hmm. But the co-anchors were spotted around New York City getting cozy in bars and the affair was so under wraps that even other staff and executives at ABC were unaware and shocked when the story broke this week. What? I don't know how. Now, let me go ahead and comment. I Didn't know why I see no subtleties? One <laughs> hour. <laughs> I'm going to wait a watch her. And I picked up on this a long time ago. Right she when said, it was like, old girl sister. But what I thought, no, I wasn't. 
What I thought, you can tell when people have chemistry. Right. I thought they just had chemistry. You know how some of your coworkers can become good friends like family. We have mm -hmm. you know, coworkers that have done that. And now they're basically family. So that's what I thought. But I did notice. I'm like, they real. Then I'm like, oh, well, maybe they just real cool, you know, because mm -hmm. I do know, you know, that they, they're both married. I, I did know that they're both couples had been on double dates in the past. So I didn't think it was like a sexual type of thing, but I did mm -hmm. notice that they, I was like, hmm. You could tell that they they hang out outside of work. Right. You can totally tell it if you watch GMA. Like, I don't know why everybody is surprised because I picked up on this months ago. Yeah, I mean, like, you can tell when there's chemistry between people and you can also tell when... Why are you laughing? There's, like, intimate chemistry. But see, so the thing about it is they are co-hosts, right? So yes. I think you would be hard to find a set of co-hosts who don't hang out outside of work. Because that's how you build that camaraderie. That's how you get to know each other. That's how you get that banter on the yeah. show back and forth. Exactly. Exactly. And that's so, what I thought. That's what they were just hanging out. Like maybe they all spent Thanksgiving together. But you can tell that they have been hanging out outside of work because the, the connection was just, it was too spot on. Yeah. yeah it happens. It does happen. But this <laughs> allegedly, Tyra, this is not <laughs> the first time that this has happened. And I don't know, I guess earlier in the year, people were doing like a 10 year challenge or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. You hear about that? So yeah. they both Amy and TJ have since gotten rid of their social media profiles, Instagram, yeah, everything, cool. shut everything down. But <laughs> before they did that, somebody screenshot what he said to his wife for the 10 year challenge. Can I read it to y'all? Yeah, what he say? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This particular decade challenge is a little late, but 10 years ago, Marley Feibig married me. And despite my best efforts, she remained married to me for the past 10 years, he wrote. That's not hyperbole. I'm not being dramatic. I gave her plenty of reasons, excuses, and opportunities to walk her fine A scribble scribble out the door. But instead, with her built in black, black woman superpower, she showed a grace and patience that's incomprehensible. Asking her for another 10 years would be asking too much. Asking another 10 months, that may even be a stretch. If she gave me another 10 weeks, I would consider myself lucky. If she puts up with me for another 10 days, I'd be grateful. But if she would even spare another 10 minutes of her time for me today, I should consider myself blessed. This Marley Five Big Homes, y'all, and I, TJ Holmes, do solemnly swear that I was her decade challenge. Mm. So you knew you was uh but obviously so did she. Yeah. Can I can I can I stop y'all for one? Okay. What is the decade challenge? Wasn't that the thing where you post, post a picture, a picture of you have 10, ten years, years ago apart? and ten, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, yeah. okay. So he took it to okay, I got you. Right. Yeah, so so he went he got deep with it. Yeah, yeah. he did. He and did. I don't know who this author is, Bula Bab Bablola, but mm -hmm. she she tweeted after this broke that the two of them are having an affair. The way I haven't stopped thinking about this horrendous caption since last night, it haunted my dreams. One of the most hateful things I've ever read. Talk about toxic. What? The, 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 she's talking about what? He, yeah. yeah. It was based, to me, it was like a low key cryptic apology to his wife for putting up with his well, BS. An apology. Well, I don't know if that was an apology because that statement that he made came before the story broke that they were having yeah, an affair, so it an but it came after. The alleged other affair right, that he had with staff members at GMA. He, he was he's acknowledging that he's an asshole. Right. That's what I mean. Yeah. That's that's what that's what I'm saying I gave her every opportunity and excuse. Yeah, and so maybe his wife, him. maybe his wife knows it all and still it's quite possible. And, and if y'all don't have the so up, honey. And but look, before this though, I just want to point that out. Um mm -hmm. Meg Meg the Stallion had did a performance on the GMA summer thing, right? This mm -hmm. they had a little concert series. And TJ was just a drooling over her. And there's nothing wrong with that. He's a man. You know, she cute. Most men would. But it was just so obvious 
that people was commenting in it like all day the next day. Like you could just tell, like he was just like, mm, let me at least get that hug, Megan. You know what I mean? It was just weird. Like I picked up on it too, because we watched it live. And I was like flirting with Megan, but we left it all. I didn't, I wasn't paying no attention to TJ. Listen, really? But that may be his wife. He may be trying to exactly. see if he could bring Megan too. Like, listen. It's just so funny how people picked up on it. Like his, I mean, he was like, he was like a little puppy dog. It was just, it was cute. Cause I was like, mm, he over there flirting. And I thought it was just me until people started commenting on it yeah, the know. next day. So yeah. first of she all. She was making a good point that, well, if you want to read it, Justin. Uh, she was said Andrew Shu used to play on Melrose Place in the night. Yes. Mm -hmm. Random fact sounds like he wrote a dear John Post uh -huh. and was looking for a way out. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I thought. No, he should have just outright apologized. To me, that sounds like a, a cryptic, you know what I mean? Like your uh, your publicist wrote a apology without an apology. It wasn't it wasn't cryptic to me. He said I was her 10-year challenge. So what that tell me for the last 10 years since the, he, they have been married he has been a challenge to maintain the relationship with mm -hmm. give her every excuse every opportunity and mm -hmm. she stayed yeah. yeah she still stayed only thing that was missing was the words i'm sorry i apologize that's all it was exactly. missing but to me he, he was like yo i messed up this way i messed up that way it she should have lost she should have left me a long time ago yeah well yeah. We'll see what happens uh, with have with fun with him, Robuck. Kim, mm -hmm. Kim, there you go. Uh, Kim said it still sounds like he loves her. Hell, old girl might need to watch herself. She could just be a fling for real. Uh, she sure. may never have him. Uh, Not fully. Will. So no. basically, you saying eventually his his eggplant yes. is going to fall. <laughs> yes, and he's going to be carrying it around in a box if he's still uh -huh. in uh -huh. That's exactly right. Also with I got a big one. You want to see it? It's in my it's trunk. It's in my box. It's in my mm -hmm. trunk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. It says in my box. Mm -hmm. This was just yeah. so, and it's just like, they're like mums the word, but you can like, it's like the elephant in the room every time yeah. I watch TV. Like, I, like yeah. they need to. And I was wondering, like, is there a flat fraternization policy? Nope. I haven't heard of anything because, like that. According to what I read online, what could be right, could be wrong. Um, the executives are saying that because this started after or it was revealed after they left their spouses, then it's not going to they're they're not going to be contract. in trouble. They're not going to get suspended. They're not going to lose their jobs. No, it's just going to be. Who, who did you say? Who did you say said that? Sarah? I'm sorry. I read I an mean, article saying that the executives said that they're not going to be reprimanded. Oh, OK. Maybe so they have. They have addressed it. That was always one of if anybody at like the network had addressed it. Yeah. Yeah. They it. did. Addressed it. Okay. Yeah. There was some shows showing that them with their rings on. And I think like maybe last week or sometime, they were both on the show and neither one of them had their red rings on. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, y'all look for stuff. Like, I, I, it wasn't me. Somebody I saw a YouTube video. Oh, uh, see, I never, I never see stuff like that. Well, look, you're on TV and everybody sees something different. People I do. Are watching. I do once in a while. Like, I'll look and be like, I wonder if they're married and see if they got a ring on. But I don't, after I know somebody's married, I won't, like, I never noticed that. That's, that's mm -hmm. interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, wow. there so you go. Back to y'all. Uh, Kim, Kim said, this, it's sad that some men can't be honest within, them, within, within himself that he won't just stay single knowing he can't be faithful. That's true. Yeah. That's true. You know, no, I think it's, I think nope. I think dudes honestly believe that they could be faithful until they're not. <laughs> what? Yeah, makes perfect sense. Really? <laughs> to to uh, to men. <laughs> <laughs> makes perfect but sense. You know, you know, because you like, I love this woman. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. And then you're like, oops, I messed up. Okay. <laughs> I would I would agree with that because. <laughs> yeah, you don't go into the situation being like, yeah, I'm, I, yeah, I'm a, I'm a wife her up, but then I'm gonna go get her and her and her. Yeah. But see, no, I can't. I don't feel I'm that. Do that. It's not like you tripped over something. Like, oops, I tripped over. No, you made it. You made it. Or for decision. you that do that kind of mess up, you gotta that was a decision. process. That was a bad, you know, unless you were somewhere decision. drunk and you got, you know what I mean, blame it on alcohol. Yeah. But, but, no. but let's also not miss the fact that. It's women that do the same thing. It is. Absolutely. 
it takes I'm two. just saying, in order for that work relationship to go that far, you know what I mean? You can't just say, oh, I messed up. Because you had opportunity after opportunity after opportunity after opportunity after opportunity to change your direction. But you chose to continue yeah, but that's, but that's not in what, that temptation. But, but that's not so that ain't Goose, not a mistake. Not, but that's not what Goose was saying. Okay, well, what is he saying? No, he's saying the act, of, the act of doing that was the mistake. However long the act of doing hold what, on, though? Hold on. Sleeping with however the person? long the process took, that whole process was the mistake. So you done what, made a 10-year mistake. Would you hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what Goose was saying is they you don't go into a relationship planning on that. or thinking that you're going to make that mistake. I, I, I heard he that point. Saying. But what I'm saying is it's not like an instant mistake. This was a mistake that took some time. Right, I get that. So at that point, it's not a mistake. No. And so, so, you no. Can't so, 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 so they did this. Cheating, they were cheating. friends. Like you said, they were double dating and everything. Exactly. But, but let me finish. Okay. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> so let's assume nothing wrong happened until they did the deed. Okay. So at the point when they did the deed, that's when the cheating occurred. Everything before that was just friendship. No, well, I wonder if it was at the studio where. You know, you know, you know, so, so you can't be like, it's but a that, genuine mistake. You've no, been no, no. grooming and all that. No, but I'm not saying you've been grooming, but what led to y'all sleeping with each other? There had to have been a little inappropriate comment here or there. A little snicker. You don't just just hop in the like. It don't always happen right. when you. So so okay. So, and you you are one hundred percent right. Mm -hmm. But until you actually fuck somebody, oh. everything else that you did. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. And don't act like you don't I mean, flirt. You have to agree to disagree on that. Don't I mean, like I, you don't flirt. It it does, don't you flirt. Have a hazard Everybody night. fucking flirt. <laughs> she don't flirt. Right. I'm about that certain goes beyond what you as a married person so know. I understand what she's saying, but she can't, but 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 she's so think this. So if you're flirting and never sleep with anybody, was there a problem? Yeah, because as a married person, you know you shouldn't be flirting. But what I'm I, that's I, you know, flirt. Flirt. Give, me give me one second to say everybody something. Flirts. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Goose. Hold true. on. Give me, give me one second. I All think right. what, I think what Tyra is more, more the word, I think just the word mistake. It's, it is. Well, hold on. I think your passion would be more geared towards the word accident than mistake. But no, accident. Being, 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 being with the no. intention of continually cheating. Making you can well, you can you can make an intentional that's mistake. Not always the intention. You can make an intentional mistake. Well, it's not a mistake if you intended on doing it. No, 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 no. There are things that you can do that you you can go through the process of doing it, and then you then you go back and realize that was a mistake. I shouldn't have did that. Oh, right. You're and you're right. You're right. But now listen to me. I'm not saying a but. You're right. You can go on and say, oh, I shouldn't have did that. But you are a married man, right? You do your vows, right? You know that, that cheating is wrong, right? Or you shouldn't cheat, right? You know that, right? Mm -hmm. These are things that you foreknew way before she came in the picture, right? Mm -hmm. So you knew that this work relationship was getting a little unsavory, mm -hmm. okay? And then y'all texting, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then y'all hanging out, and then y'all hanging out without y'all spouses. There was time for you to turn. So you said so that's the point. Text me what? Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. There was time to say, "Ho, I'm getting ready to make a mistake. Let me not continue this." Why can you use What's the word right? mistake, but we can't? It's not a mistake. You planned. You just did it. it. <laughs> you just but, said the word mistake. You said, "Whoa, not, I'm about to make a mistake. Let me stop." That's what you said. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. They had time, but you're saying all of that time, all of this, all of this was a mistake. That's how I'm perceiving what you're saying. The whole situation that the whole was situation a was, a was a mistake. It should not have it's, happened. I shouldn't have did that. It was it, that was a mistake. At some point, we know that that when it the went conversation out. turned the whole thing, other than friendship, think. that's when it should have stopped. When, when I put when I put too much coffee or too much sugar in my coffee on purpose because I think it's going to make it taste good. Right. That's a mistake. 
but I did it on purpose. Right. I just right. didn't think it was going to be that bad. Right. I understand <laughs> what you're saying. But, so you slept with her on purpose then. He just didn't think right. the whole world was going to find out. you think back Come at it. Come on. That so was, if you do, it's a not mistake. a mistake. No, it wasn't so an accident. So if nobody finds out, then it didn't really happen? Is that what you're saying? Oh, my God. I so, just think no, here. No, no, so so my, my whole thing is that <laughs> the relationship may have ended a place that neither of them intended it to end. Do you understand what then I'm just saying? Say that, but don't say you made a mistake. That's what I say. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Say that. Say you that say the way you said say it. That. Yeah. <laughs> like we did this, and we didn't intend for it to go this way. Take ownership for it, but don't be like, but oh. When you when you when, when, when you don't it, when something happens when you when something happens and you don't intend for it to happen, what is that called? A mistake. a mistake no but no i'm talking about but once that conversation changed y'all know when the conversation once changed the conver once the conversation went once from, that conversation started to change and you went you know what i mean come on it's not a mistake after no, it, that. no you're just continuing to make the mistake wait. Okay. That, that's what you're, you're continuing to make. You're continuing mistake. to live in error then. Because once that conversation changed and you start looking at her in that dress and she start complimenting you, after things move on after that, that's not a mistake because you kept doing it. No, yeah. it's, no. Okay. It's a play on words. It's, it's the mistake is the whole situation is the, the mistake. mistake has now become habit. The mistake is the entire situation. The whole, well, okay. Yeah. The whole situation, the whole situation is, a mistake. is the mistake. Yeah, it's all a big mistake. Yeah, well, anyway, I don't to know me, it sounded like his wife knew who she was doing. I, I don't with. think it was a big mistake. I think they were attracted to each other, and they just didn't give a damn. That's what I think. But the mistake comes in, I shouldn't have did that to my wife. That was a mistake. I, I had the affair on purpose. Right. The affair was a mistake. It should not have happened. Well, I don't, I, yeah. You know what? Like, I feel bad that I hurt my spouse, but do I feel bad that I slept with this dude? No. That's what, that's. Exactly. So you, should, you can't mistake and make a bad convo. So that's what I'm, so I'm you talking can't about. The and make a bad convo with a married, married person, person, then mistakenly, mistakenly fall in bed. bed. No, no, that's part of the mistake. But at what point is it not no, a mistake? That's, that's what I'm saying. Like no, after you keep doing it, it there is no part it. where it's not a mistake. Okay. The whole thing was a mistake. I'm not saying it's excusable. I don't, exactly. like, I don't think it was a mistake. I think it was a mistake. I don't think it was no, a no, mistake. No, 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 no. It just it was a mistake. Them doing that. At some point in time, that might have happened, but I don't think it was from the rip. Like, oh, it's what might take me 10 years, and I'm going to bang her. Right. That's what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is from, from, the, from the first time that conversation turned and you continued to allow the conversation to turn, it's no longer a mistake. It is intentional behavior that y'all doing. It's not a mistake. Okay. If, 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 if I'm sending nasty texts, it is definitely intentional. That's what I'm saying. But, yeah. but, 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 if, okay, but, see, see, this, but see, this is the part that you're not getting because you don't think like a man. Oh my God. No, oh. listen. Listen, we'll because, take another because, hour on this show. No, because no, as soon as I said what I said last time, Justin understood what I was saying. Just because I sent nasty texts intentionally doesn't mean that my goal is to get in the drugs. But it may happen. But that doesn't mean that that's my goal. So I might just like, be having fun. It's not my goal. I might just be when having it fun. Happens, I'm not going to I might it just be having fun. And that's why I said I don't think a guy goes so in. Is this is how all married men have fun. They flirt with their co oh, 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 period. First of all, why do you use the word all? Why do you use the word all? Okay, most. So I'm not saying all, but I'm just saying like, this is confusing. I'm just having fun. Like he's what I'm saying is he's married and he knew his responsibility from the jump. So I, I, think, I think and I would say this if it was a woman too. Okay. Like once you continue, well, it's it's not not a woman too. She, okay. she's part of the problem too. She stepped out on her husband. Right. Exactly. And so it wasn't mistaken. Right. No, the mistake is they should not have done that. Is well, allowing it to go further. further. Right. Allowing it to go further was a mistake. That situation. Then a work relationship. That's a mistake. That right, should right. not have happened. It, exactly. It should not have happened. That's what the mistake is. It should not have happened on okay. either side. It should not have happened. You're right. But now that it has. 
Now that it has, you got to deal with the consequences. Now that it has, it's, the, it's, it's done. Now that it has, it's the responsibility of the four people that's involved. It I don't even know why the hell we talking about. Absolutely. <laughs> that's the relationship we're with. I'm not saying nothing. Oh, keep it flowing. Go home. Goddamn right. Beat up on Goose tonight, y'all. Oh Lord, we are we. Are. <laughs> but no, right. but I really do on. think I'm I'm, a, I'm big on. Like how, because I noticed, like, I'm big on how people play on words. Because people use words to kind of negate or or soften the blow from what they did. So that's, that's why you should choose your words wisely. Exactly. That's how I was able to say when something happens that you didn't intend it to happen, what is that called? Playing on words. That's what I was doing. Exactly. I understand. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And that's but what I'm saying is, right. We're, I think we're all right, but we're all just looking at it from a different aspect. I'm looking at it from the whole spectrum. I'm looking at the whole spectrum of the event, from how it got from a co-worker relationship to we leaving our spouses and we're going to be together. You see what I'm saying? I'm looking at well, the whole spectrum. We know that that's what's going on. We don't but, even but, know that that's that happens. Happens. That, that happens it every day. Happen. And people that work at, at the... Planet Fitness is having a fair Exactly. It's true. But what I'm saying is in that spectrum, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There was room to change. But when you don't and you continue to move in that way, it's you can't call it a mistake because then no. all of that after that is is intentional behavior. Yeah. I, 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 I never but, called it a mistake. I've been calling it, I've been calling it intentional from correct. the beginning. Right. Which is correct. The whole event was a mistake. But I'm looking, I'm from taking that, that from the point that it will start going left. I, I say, oh, I don't know. Because I, <laughs> I don't know all the particulars. It was a half, it was a pattern. Hey, I don't know all the particulars either. I just think it's interesting because I watch so much and it's just like all over the place. But that's what I'm doing. I'm taking the event and breaking so it. So it's like this. Let's break, let's kind of not break that down. Let's just kind of put things in perspective. So let's say I'm flirting with this chick and Tyra sees it in my phone. Mm -hmm. I, and I say I've been doing it for three days. Let's say three mm -hmm. days I'm flirting with this chick. Tyra mm -hmm. sees it in my phone. Babe, what's all this? You know what, babe? I shouldn't have been doing that. That, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have did that. Mm -hmm. But I've been doing it for three days. Well, so the first day was a mistake, but then the right, second day, day it's not three. a mistake anymore. No, it was a mistake of what I did to you. So then you, so day two and three was not a mistake. You no. intentionally sent them nasty I, I, I intentionally sent them exactly. all three days. That's intentional. The mistake is what I did. The mistake is me finding the mistake, out. The That's mistake is what I did. That's, That's it. The mistake. Hey, That's the mistake. You've all shit. I believe that. That was the mistake. My passcode on my phone. That was the, That's the mistake you talked about. The mistake is what I did to you. <laughs> what I did to us is what the mistake is. Right. Yeah, so, right. You're looking at the event. No, it wasn't I'm an taking accident. Taking the event and breaking it down. No, it wasn't an accident. I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah, exactly. And that's just yeah. the way, like how, like they say, a woman's brain is like spaghetti and a man's brain is like waffles. They, you know what I mean? Like we. At least our brain is more solid. Y'all take like one no one goddamn waffles. But anyway, oh, thanks for hanging with us, y'all. Okay. okay. Listen, we I'm over. tired of talking about these people now. I know. Okay. Oh, we missed the whole topic. We'll talk about that. We can talk about, uh, we can yeah, talk we'll talk about that next time. Deshaun Watson. Now, is number 23 a mistake? <laughs> the 23rd victim? Is that a mistake? I wouldn't oh. say so. I would the say last that. victim. Because, think this, because the grand jury didn't indict. And to me, that's I saw a that. lot. I heard that. I didn't that know that. That's a lot. Yeah. To but me, no, it says, doesn't. Why doesn't it? Does it? Because all, remember, why? No, remember in the cases with the like police officers and stuff, the grand jury can only go off of the evidence that they're presented. Yes, so if the grand do jury know, don't have all the evidence, but, but do you know that the grand jury presented yeah. evidence and you can't defend yourself? You can't say nothing. The prosecution just says, Oh, yeah, this and this and this, right? And this, and and this. what they present, and all the evidence may not be presented, but right. But what I'm saying is, if they to me. Mm -hmm. If they didn't present enough evidence for a grand jury to indict where you can't defend yourself, to me, that says a lot. That's all I'm saying. That means that but, you didn't have so, enough evidence to present. That's not all because I'm thinking about this situation. I think it's the Brianna, Brianna Taylor case. The grand jury didn't indict them, but that's because the state did not 
give all the evidence to the grand jury. But guess what? what? You know, you have to realize, it was a whole thing. setup. That's what I'm saying. But, so it could have been a whole right. setup. But, but you have to look. But you have to look at the two different cases. First of all, right. it was the grand jury trying to indict police officers. So we all that's know that that. And then this is the grand jury trying to indict a wealthy black athlete. So 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 right. those are two different. That. So that's two different things. Those are two different uh, demographics. But right. I'm just I'm just talking about as far as the grand jury and their decision. They make their oh, yeah. decision on the no, evidence. No, you're right. But that's any jury. Is, so, right, and I get it. But what I'm saying is the prosecution in the Brianna Taylor case may have not presented all of the evidence on purpose. Yeah, because absolutely. But this very well people. could have happened in this case. Maybe nah. they didn't have all that. Why, why would the prosecution want to help Deshaun Jackson? I don't. I, I'm not. I'm just saying. I'm not. I'm just. I'm just putting that caveat. That's what I'm saying. The grand jury doesn't have all. Can we talk about this another time, then, yeah. Justin? If they, if they don't, if a grand jury don't have all the information, then all the information ain't going to get got. Well, the FBI seemed to have found it for the Breonna yeah. Taylor case, and them cops is going down. They, they, they lift. They, the they FBI found that cover up. Exactly. So, but what I'm saying well, is, no but Goose is Washington. right. That does say a lot. That the grand jury didn't invite indict him. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, but we know how these cases go. Not probably not all of them were 100 percent factual. You know how it is. I don't care if he black, white, Puerto Rican, Haitian, whatever. Mm -hmm. He got money. Y'all know what these women do. It's like dogs in the Zulu Nation. Exactly. Yeah, I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I, was over, I was over here like, okay. <laughs> Saying, but we know it's such a delicate dance when it comes to these, mm -hmm. these sexual harassment or sexual assault cases and That's famous men, you know so That's there we cool. go all right well we're gonna get about it here. oh is, are we gonna do a final tour we, i have we, one do y'all i can come up with one i got one go ahead Sarah. okay so mine is i never make the same mistake twice mistake is the key word here I make it like five or six times just to be sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. So 100%. I want to say if you live in Georgia and Herschel Walker win, you should consider leaving. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Come, come no, up no, north. no, no, seriously. Come up north. Where I'm, not saying, I'm, not saying we, I'm not saying we perfect. I'm not saying no place is perfect. But we live in 2022 in that, this, that, that dude this part of the country. So if you just want to go off of his speeches, Abba, Dabba, Abba, 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 Abba. let me tell you, I'm not. If, I, if, I am not a Republican, nor am I a Democrat. However, I do not understand how how, how the GOP can hang their hat right? on this guy. No, oh, you really no don't get that. GOP. Is supposed to be why, because he's a black African American. <laughs> yeah, I, I know why they did it, but it's like when he talks, I'm like, is this really the guy? Is exactly. Really like, the person that they not not any of this? The same interview, and this guy, Republican, yeah, was like, I vote for um Daffy Duck over Raphael Warnock. Well, then there, you deserve there are, everything you so get. To me, that says two things. Number one, you think all black people are stupid. That mm -hmm. we would, you know, because you're going to try to put these two polar opposite people against each other, thinking that it would divide us. And number two, it's exposing the truth of that party, that yep. they're not yeah. interested in the people. They're interested in maintaining their That's power. That's something they're telling Absolutely That's anything. That's all of them. And I'm not a Democrat or a Republican. That's all side. They mm -hmm. Horrible. Thank you, Goose. But I'm like, look, I, I know some Star Republicans that I that I respect, and I'm just thinking, like, I know you. Like, why? Like, how? Why? How are you okay with that? Like, how are you okay? Who's gonna be making the decisions? If I'm not trying to make it office? political, but it's just like, if he was a uh, anything, how are you okay with that? Like, I wouldn't want him to be my dog trainer. Exactly. 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 So on that note, I don't even think I'd want him to be my football coach. To be quite honest with you, where old girl at? Tell, tell him to shut up and run. Yeah, who, who was that that said that? Um, what was her name? Where old girl? That dingbat. Yeah, yeah. What was her so name? here you go. Ann Coulter. That was her. Ann Coulter. <laughs> right. Is Kim's, this your king? Is this your king? <laughs> I'm watching his interviews, and I'm like, have Raphael Warnock 
said a fraction of what the things that Herschel Walker is saying, oh. the Republican Party would have ripped him from from a hole to earlobe. Mm -hmm. Okay, had he has said a fraction of the nonsense, and it don't even make sense. Like yeah. it's just some of the stuff he's saying don't make sense to a kindergartner. Yep. Well, his I, and I, I'm sure this is a complete HIPAA violation, but his therapist came forward and said that he has 20 distinct personalities that he is aware of. Are you serious? Oh, so That's a clear HIPAA so violation. He, so yes. he's never. <laughs> oh, oh, it's definitely a HIPAA. That was, that was the first thing to Google. Yeah, like, no. <laughs> no. God bless you. <laughs> like, yo, we have to lose his license. <laughs> yeah, he's going to lose his it's license. Worth it. I, I, I could believe it. Oh, 100%. There's no progress without sacrifice. <laughs> well, on that note, we're going to get up out of here. Uh, we appreciate y'all hanging out with us today. Uh, you know, we I said it was going to be a fun show, and I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. And if you enjoyed any parts of the show, please, please share it with your friends. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Neutrals Radio. It's youtube.com slash Neutrals Radio. Share it with your people. Tell them to join us next week because we're going to have we're going to bring it again next week. All right. I think we're going to try. <laughs> but uh without that being said, we're gonna... and Goose will bring it next week. But they <laughs> me and Justin just be sitting there like <laughs> here they go. Exactly. We're gonna get out of here, y'all. We appreciate y'all hanging with us. We'll talk to y'all next time here on the 10 7 show. Peace out. Peace, Peace out.